Hi, my dear students. How are you? Now we have going to be start a first chapter biology, the green, sorry, improvement of food resources. Here we are going to be take the its first topic that is the green revolution, and uh, it is come for the one mark question. So that's why it's a little topic, but it's very important. So I am going to be do first of it. Our first chapter name is improvement of food resources. Okay, guys, listen first thing. Your feedback is very important. You have learned or not? This is very important for us. Please provide your feedback on the mail ID. Okay. Now, what is the green revolution? Here we can see all entire area is a green by the crops. The crops are green. I mean, plants are also green, but uh, crops we are growing by ourselves. Okay, this definition you can see over here. That is very important definition. You have to be learned properly. The bumper production of a food grain it is called the green revolution. Okay, what the bumper production of food grain is called green revolutions. What is the green revolutions? When we are free from the British rule, at that time we have a big problem. What was that? That is for the food. So how we get the food? Because there are small, small fields were there where the crops are grown. Khet, बहुत छोटे थे वो. So that's why the productivity is also less. Now it's our own. Problem to get out the food from there. So here, in the international level, he is the bulldog. He is get the gold medal for the this green revolutions on the work on the this one. Okay. So so many people are uh, take the very advantages from it. We are talking about in our country. He is Mr. M. S. Swami Nathan. He is called the father of Indian Green Revolution. At the time of our ex-president, sorry, ex-prime minister Shri Mati Indira Gandhi, at that time, she was taken care of the food productions. So, how could you do it? That is important. Please learn this question. He is called. The father of green revolution. Okay, in 1965, Mrs. Indira Gandhi decided to the mill take the major steps to agriculture conditions. From 1967 to the 1978, especially in the part of Haryana and Punjab, they are doing so many changes, especially for the wheat and the rice productions. Okay. Swami Nathan lead the green revolution is a product, sorry, project. Okay, what are what were the traditional ways? We are taking, we have very small areas. We um, use all the traditional things which require so much human efforts. But what we are going to be introduce introduce in the green revolutions? Multiple cropping system we were started at that time. We take the superior seeds which are genetically modified. The irrigation system should be changed. We take the hybrid seed over here. We use the fertilizers and the pesticides. We use modern machines. Okay. We expand our farming area. Okay. So that is very important. So now, what are the result you can see here in Punjab? It's a mustards. We use the fertilizers. We have a certain special uh, seeds. We can see so many crops we can take in a one time. Here we can see in 2005 the growth is this production of the food where it is increases. So okay, you can understand. Now, what is the important aspect of the green revolutions? So traditionally, the productivity is less. But the modern green revolution, it is very benefited 
because it possible the grow of more crops in a one area okay with the help of modern techniques with the help of improved seed with the help of cost cutting as well they are cheaper before okay that's why it's very important what are the issues now after the 30 40 years after 50 years we feel certain issues certain problem due to it that is pollutions or especially the soil pollution okay and second one erosion of the soil pollution of the water because we use the so many ureas and so many chemicals so many pesticides in and uh, according to the green revolution no? that's why unemployment we are use machines so many of farmers which are uneducated they get unemployed some deadly disease we have because of the chemicals okay harmful for the farmers okay because they are uh, most of the time with uh, this one na? and economically plus health both have they have a uh, issues their consumption may be adverse we eat chemical related food urea related food they are not good for us so that's why we are again come to the organic farming okay where the less pesticides we have to be used we can see over here the pesticides okay it's not completely failed the green revolutions but i am talking about its some failures like we are used the pesticides we put into the where into the crops it is go into the surface and run off in the lakes or something by the rainfall it is come and it is overall spread out uh, in our food we get the crop pesticides the pesticides if harmful for the paste especially it means they are harmful for us as well now so that's why they are accumulated in our body or especially i want to say they are accumulated in the food chain matlab one eat then second one then third one then fourth one right so it is accumulated in our body so it put the cancer inside the body so okay it cannot be excreted by the body because this is not the natural thing now that's why they cannot removed out from the body so it cannot be degraded by the bacteria as well right so it's a harmful for us so we have to be use very less chemicals and pesticides now we can understand over here these all are accumulated in our body that's very harmful our soil is contaminated our water is polluted our air is also polluted because of it okay so we have to be written back to the organic farming but the productivity should not be less so what is the conclusion we all read about the green revolution in a positive thing okay what are the it's uh, we should be go to the sustainable and environmental friendly system of cultivation this is the need of the hour okay so now the world need the green revolutions to the organic farming sustainability okay we have to be go with the environment which is friendly with the environment so it's a need of second green revolution non food grain improve, improving the global market improving the we have to be improve the rural infrastructure we have to be improve the rural roads and we have to elect fired it means provide the elect electricity to them so they can easily export their potentials organic farming we have to be sustains right thank you if i can you have understand well please provide your feedback bye bye